I think I'm going live. Hi friends. Hi, Lindsay here for Swing Design. I think I'm live. Let me just double check. Um, if you can hear me, then um, go ahead and say hi. Let me know um, where you're watching from. Um, and I'm just gonna check here. Yes, we are live, wonderful. Hi friends, Lindsay for Swing Design. And um, today we're doing a fun project with the Scan and Cut SDF125 model, which um, I've linked to in um, the description. Um, and you may also notice that we have some new Brother Scan and Cut machines too, the SDX85. And I will be doing an unboxing video for the um, SDX85 very, very soon. Um, but what we can do with the uh, 125 model, um, you can do with the 85 too. So, oh, hi, April. April's in um, West Virginia. Hi, wonderful. Thanks so much for watching. Um, we're doing um, a little uh, vinyl project on a little uh, ornament. So I thought this would be fun and I'll show you how to use the half cut feature. So uh, I see a lot of people using um, their skin and cut for like fabric and paper, um, but you can totally use vinyl too, like vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, stencil, stencil material, sticker paper, anything that has like a backing to it where you don't actually want to cut through the, the backing. Um, there's the half cut feature. And the machine is so smart, it uses its auto blade technology to um, sense how deep is halfway and not cut through the, through the backing. So it's really cool. I'm gonna flip the, I'm gonna stop talking and <laughs> just flip the camera down so we can start on the project. So here is my workspace here. And let me know if I'm loud enough to Okay, so here is, this is the SDX um, 125, and I have the, so it's a little hard to see the screen, so I'm going to do my best here, um, but I already have the um, design pulled up on the machine itself, so I actually transferred, transferred it from my um, computer um, over to that machine, and... Then let's go ahead and open up this. I like to keep my stylus here because um, otherwise I will totally lose it. Um, but there's also storage um, in the bottom as well. So for like the pen, the pen holder, there's a little accessory bag. Um, you can keep all that stuff down there. Okay, and then I already have the auto blade um, loaded in. So this is so cool because this, I don't have to really do any settings at all. I just press cut and this just, it knows how to, how to do it. I think it's awesome and it's super easy. Just push it down and um, push down this lever to lock it in place. Um, and so I'm using some um, white adhesive vinyl, craft vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and just actually um, cut off a little bit because I'm going to push this up and back. Now, there are uh, options to actually cut straight from the roll, um, and that's an additional feature. Um, but I'm going to be cutting with a cutting mat, so I need to cut some of this vinyl. Oops. I'll don't need anything that big and I want to save as much as possible all right so that there, there we go that is pretty good and then I need to load it onto my mat so the SDX mats um, will have um, an arrow on one side because uh, some of the other brother mats you could load in from either side but these ones, um, you can only load in from one side. Um, so. Ooh, lovely sound there. Just taking off the per protective coating for that. Um, and then I'm going to put this piece of vinyl 
um, on the mat with the vinyl side um, facing up. If you're using HDV, you'd want to reverse that and you would want to put the, the smooth side down. Well, I guess that's the carrier sheet. Okay, well, <laughs> we're just talking about adhesive vinyl today. All right, so I have that on here and then to load the machine, it's super easy. There we go. Um, you just line it up with these guards here and then you just press this load mat button and I kind of hold it um, with my hand a little bit so that it feeds nicely. Okay, so that is loaded in. If for some reason it didn't load correctly, maybe for some reason it um, you know, what's crooked or something, um, the um, machine will, t will tell you, will let you know and tell you to reload it. Okay, so I am going to move this just right there and I can use this stylus um, or you can use your finger. And what I want to do is I want to cut this. Um, however, when I go to the cut menu, uh, I'm sorry this is hard to see. It's it's hard to film um, a screen, but there's a start button here, but there's also these options that say, um, you know, what the pressure is, the speed, and then it also says half cut off. And so for vinyl, I want to change that. So I'm going to click this little um, wrench icon, and then I can use the arrows down here to go to half cut. And I'm gonna tap that to on, click OK. It's gonna take me back to the cutting screen. Now half cut is on. And if I wanted to do a test cut, um, I can do that. Let's actually maybe do a test. Um, it's gonna put this teeny tiny little um, triangle here that I actually wanna drag over to maybe right into the corner. Um, so that I can just do a test cut. So sensing the material. And this is just the test cut. So what I'm looking for is, I'm actually gonna unload this and take a weeding tool. And I am just going to test to see whether or not this comes up. And it does, it totally does. Look at that, lovely, lovely. And then the backing is still um, intact. So I'll actually pull up the material so you can see that it cut through the vinyl, but not the backing on the other side. So that is perfect. So that test cut can save you a lot of material um, by just taking those few extra steps. Um, I'm going to load this back in and now I can go ahead and actually cut out the, um, there's the option to test again or start. And I want to start. So now it's going to actually cut out the um, design that I had already loaded in here. I know, and um, I do have that design um, linked in the description as well. If you want to check that out, we're going to be putting this vinyl on um, this black ornament. It's like a chalkboard type of feel. I think I just got this at the craft store. Um, another thing that we'll be using is some transfer paper. So I will need to actually cut off a little bit of that. I'm gonna move the microphone a little bit because it, it, this machine is so quiet. I love it.
There's also a little counter on here or timer. Tells me how much I have I have left. And of course, if you have any questions, um, let me go ahead and refresh my screen here. Um, please let me know. We are using the Brother Scan and Cut SDX 125. Um, we ha also have some of the SDX 85 models for the Scan and Cut. Um, and you can do the same thing with that machine as well. So I will be posting a an unboxing video for that very, very shortly. All right, and I'm actually just gonna cut this with scissors. All right, so I have my piece of transfer tape. So I'll put that off to the side. And sometimes what I like to do is um, with any surface before, before I put vinyl on it is I will just wipe it down with some isopropyl alcohol. That will remove like any oils from my fingers or any other. Oh, it's kind of taken off the, <laughs> the, the um, I should have tested that before I used it. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be fine. Plus there's the other side. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. So next time, yeah, definitely test a little area. Oh yeah, it'll be fine. almost done here and then all we'll need to do is just weed out the extra excess vinyl so I know it's hard to see even I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing where that was cut but what I'm gonna do is before I even unload the mat I'm going to um, take my weeding tool which I just use a little um, sewing needle but you know there's tools like these weeding hooks um, that you can use as well. Um, I am going to just pull up a little section to see how it cut and looks like it came up there pretty good. So I think if it didn't, I think this might be okay. What you're looking for is just that you're not gonna have problems weeding it. There we go. You know what, I think this might work. So what I'm gonna do is, um, okay, unload this and just put it off to the side for a second here while I weed this design. And actually, my piece of vinyl is, oops, the mat is really sticky, so just be careful. If you've got a brand new mat, you don't wanna rip too much of that backing off. I'm actually gonna cut around the design. so I could save this piece. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I actually like to weed out all the inner parts of the letters first. That's just kind of my little process. I also think maybe it's easier to take them out when Yeah, yeah. I think it's easier to take out the little inner pieces when
um, there's still uh, the rest of the vinyl in it. All right, so I'm gonna try and do this as quick as I can here. I know this is not the most exciting, but I will burn through this. There we go. And then after weeding, what we'll do is take the transfer paper and transfer it onto our ornament. All right, so sometimes what I like to do is then cut to the edge. So then I'm now working with just one piece and I can then go ahead and pull it back and do that. And then excess I like to cut off. I always like um, to, um, I always thought it was really cool that uh, I could pull it all up in one piece, but <laughs> I definitely had more issues that way. So as cool as it is, um, it's just, I think better if I just um, cut off the excess as I work. And I am using um, the, here we go, the Scan and Cut um, 125E, or SDX, I should say. Okay, I'm gonna cut that little piece off. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's a weeding, like I'm not as nicely as I thought it would. So um, I, pro this is an old blade too. I probably should have used a new blade. So I've been using um, this with paper a lot. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna take this off and I'm actually gonna cut it again. So, the, even though we did the test cut, I still should have um, changed my blade. Because paper will definitely dull your blade um, faster than using vinyl. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and change out the blade, which is super easy to do. Um, so I've got this stuck down. Um, I'm going to load this in. And I've got a new blade. So I'm just going to take out this one, put this one in. Um, and then the uh, design is still up here. Um, it'll still ask me what I want to do with it. Um, and then the half cut um, feature is still on. It's still highlighted there. So I am just going to click start. And then that is going to do its thing. All right. So I love how quiet the machine is. And these auto blades are interchangeable between the um, S between the SDX machines. So um, I can use the uh, auto blade in the 125. I could also use it in the 85. So uh, um, it, you know you can switch switch them out. And, and this one maybe I'll put right here. Or I'll make like a little mark on the back so I know that this one's for paper. 
You just take a Sharpie and a little P on the back. So I will know that this blade I'm going to use with my paper projects. And then maybe I'll write a V on that one so that um, I know I can use this one with vinyl. And then I always like to put my stylus there because otherwise <laughs> if I put it on my desk, it's just going to disappear. I don't know how, how that seems to happen, but it does. Okay, so the timer or the countdown says we have about two minutes left. Um, I already have my transfer ta tape and then my ornament that I'm using. Ready to go. And then we can um, start with our project. I have the design, once I, I weed it out, um, you'll be able to you know, see, see it all. Um, but I have it linked in the description too. So um, if, you, if you like it, then um, you can um, check it out as well. So we're down to one minute here. It's such a quiet machine. I love, I love that about this. I mean, and, um, of course, you know, we have to mention that it's a scanner as well. <laughs> the scan and cut, yes, um, you can use um, as a standalone scanner if you need to scan anything. But then you can also um, scan any um, maybe patterned papers or any stamped images that you've done. Um, and then using the touch screen here, you can um, tell the machine how you want that those images cut out, maybe with a little white border around it or right up to the edge. Um, so that is really cool too. Okay, so again, I'm gonna do this test weeding and this should be a lot easier. Yeah. Oh, much, 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 much easier. See, that's all I needed to do. All right. <clears throat> Is that I was just using a blade that was a little too well loved. And again, this piece of vinyl is a little too big. So I'm gonna cut it down. So now I have my two blades labeled. I've got P um, labeled on one of them. So I know I'll use that one with paper. And then um, the other one, I'll write a V on, on it. So uh, I'll use that with vinyl. Oh yes. World of difference, I, I swear. So much easier. Now, um, you can also play around with the cut settings on the machine as well. So you don't always have to use the auto cut feature. So if I wanted to, I could specify you know, exactly the, um, you know, the pressure and the speed that I want it to cut. There we go. All right, I still like to cut off the excess. <clears throat> there, so much easier. And then I can just peel this part off. These um, little ornaments, I got the chalkboard ones. I got these at the craft store. 
I thought they were pretty cool. So the white vinyl I think looks really striking against against you know the black chalkboard. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna cut that little extra piece off. There we go. All right. Thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. This is truly a labor of love. <clears throat> so I think maybe next time with the half cut, I will, you know, I can always play around with the settings and find out, you know, which, you know, maybe I need to want to cut it a little bit deeper. Just want to avoid cutting through the backing. That's what that half cut is there for. Um, so it cuts just through the material and not through the um, the backing of it because we want that intact Oops. so that we can um, transfer the design as one piece onto our surface and if it came out all into little pieces, it would be much difficult, much more difficult to do that. Plus, I am working with a pretty small design too. This only measures about three inches wide, maybe like two and a half inches tall. So, you know, we're talking a small intricate design here. Obviously, if this was a lot bigger, um, you know, this would go a little bit faster. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> and then this part of the design is much, much bigger. So there we go. Yeah, those, in, those tiny parts of the text definitely give you um, a little bit more um, finesse or, you know, require a little bit more finesse. But there it is. <laughs> Little funny Christmas saying there, nice, nice until nice till proven naughty. <laughs> so I'm going to transfer that on to this. Ornament here. So I've got the transfer tape, um, at which I'm going to peel off its backing and get my scraper. And then Apply that there and then use my scraper to really really burnish it down really really well I'm pull it back up I also like to burnish on the back and then I've always had really good results um, with oh you know what actually this pulls up really nicely if um, the transfer tape is pulling up the vinyl really nicely. If you find that it's not, um, what you can do is you can actually peel off the backing from the vinyl and that can help too. All right, so then let's go ahead and um, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. And I like to put, um, put the center down first and then work the vinyl out like that <clears throat> sometimes it can help too to cut into the design so that you can um, not I mean not cut the design but cut the transfer tape so that you've got a little bit of wiggle room as far as here we go as how you uh, can maneuver the transfer tape as um, when it's you know separated by the by the cuts in there you get a little bit more maneuverability there we go so I'm going to burnish this really well and then I'm going to peel off the transfer tape Ha ha! Perfect! 
<laughs> nice till proven naughty. <laughs> and then um, I think what I want to do is I want to put a little bow at the top. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just tie it around here. Um, this is, you know, that is probably a good good amount there. Um, I can also add, um, I like to add some twine to be able to hold this. There we go. And then I'm going to trim the, the little ends of that. And then I think what I'll do is I'll tie the bow around um, the base here. So let's just get it started. With a knot. Okay. Then I can tie the bow like this. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. <laughs> that should be pretty good. Maybe I want that a little bit smaller. To mat that side to match. <laughs> there you go. Nice, still proven naughty. <laughs> um, so that is the uh, half cut feature with the um, Scan and Cut SDX, um, just in a white vinyl. And um, that's all I have for today. So I'm going to go ahead and um, move the camera back so I can just say um bye thanks so much for watching i think this turned out pretty darn cute <laughs> um and uh you know if you like the design i have it linked in the description also um uh links for adhesive vinyl um you can cut um, HCV, stencil material, sticker paper with the half cut is feature as well. So um, it doesn't cut all the way through the backing. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, and if you want to check out the um, Brother Scan and Cut DX models, um, I have that linked in the description as well, the 125 and the 85. Um, so thank you so much and have a great day. Bye friends.